All right, welcome guys. Welcome to neverovervideos.com. It's me Ali here, and uh, in this tutorial, I will show you uh, how you can change the default uh, the database directory for MongoDB permanently. So I was having some problem. I was having a hard time with that. So I thought to share it with my followers. So here is what I'm trying to do. First of all, let me explain that. By default, MongoDB stores data in C drive data DB. All right, but I do not want to do this. Do this. I want to store that data in my OneDrive file so that uh, if the window is crashed up or something that like something bad happens, my data is uh, safe. All right. So for that first of all you have you must have a directory all right which has a data folder and in within it it must have a db folder right so uh, for now i will just dig i will select that and i will delete all that it's being used let me just go back and uh, stop everything what i was doing before so what you have to do is to run the command prop as an administrator okay i'm running as an administrator and uh, forget about these commands net stop it's just for me i will explain this further all right so just stopping and uh, okay all right so let me just delete this and uh, come on. all right these files have been deleted so i want to install my mongo of uh, my databases in onedrive mongodb and data so you have to create a new folder over here called db all right and then you have to also create a new folder called log log all right so once you are done with that then you have to create a new file and the directory called where is your mongo database service installed in server 3.4 and over here you have to name the file mongod.cfg all right and in this file you have to provide these two things the destination uh, for for the system log system file address for the system log and the storage address for the storage over here you have to provide for the log and this is the address data log mongod log all right and then this is the uh, db files url all right so you must have this file stored in your uh server server address over here all right where is your mongo mongo db install so once you do that you have to install the command as an administrator let's just remove the instance that we are having somewhere at the background running so to do that you have to call mongo d and uh, just remove so mongo db is removed if i try to remove again it will give me an error that we don't find a MongoDB as a service running. All right, so let me just clear that up. And now you have to install the MongoDB with as a service with the following command. All right, so this is the command MongoD. This is where the address of our config file. Uh, it's better to put in the uh, quotations because you might have some space uh, because of this space i'll be also in this space and then install then the service name as a mongodb right just copy that come over here and just press that by right click and hit enter so with this our service has been installed and now what we need to do we need to start that service all right let's start mongodb all right it's just coming the service has been started so right now this is running as a service if i go and type service 
and I will find MongoDB over here in my computer services over here MongoDB server running all that all good so I will go to Mongo shell right now and uh, boom I'm in the Mongo shell and then I will show you the DBs so right now I have two DBs admin and, lo uh, admin and local so I will just close that terminal and uh, I will stop that service as well because I want to overlay the files to have my backup let me just mongo db and boom let's just stop and uh, let's just uh, go back so this I'm just showing you how that works so this is my data right now and now what I will do over here I will copy all my previous data this was my previous data and uh, I will go over this also uh, excuse me for this uh, I was I played of I, I was I mean playing around four to five hours and I was very stuck I was I just had named it like that all right so I just pasted all my data now when I go back and uh, start my service again mongo d net start mongo db all right all right it's just let's just start it now if i go to mongo shell mongo and show dbs all right so i have all my uh, databases the test data the test data too and we are good to go with that so i hope you like this tutorial if you really did if you learn something new don't forget to subscribe to my channel i keep on updating uploading a lot of uh, videos regarding to programming and all that stuff so stay tuned for now bye bye take care